Yo, what is up, everybody? It's Goalie Guy Vlogs here, or Scott, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be reviewing two more hockey cards. I did one of these videos before, and I just wanted to get another one up just so we have a bunch, bunch of videos for you guys to view on my channel. So we got two cards today. Two rookie jersey cards. One is from the 15-16 season, and the other one is from the 7-16... Uh, no, one is... Yeah, one's from the 16-17 season, and the other one's from the 15-16 season. The 15-16 one is going to be this Ryan Hartman rookie materials jersey card. This card... I don't, I'm going to do a little bit of research on eBay and stuff, and see how much this is worth. On the back, it's kind of boring on the screen. You have received the trading card with Ryan Harp, an event used hockey memorabilia. This memorabilia has been certified to us having been used in a rookie photo shot. We hope you enjoy this piece of hockey history and we continue to keep you as close as you can get. Enjoy your memorabilia card. So I think that means that it was in game use. I don't know. And then the Braden Point one. Congratulations, you have received a trading card with Braden Point event used hockey memorabilia certified to us having been used in a rookie photo shoot. We hope you enjoy this piece of hockey history as we continue to keep you as close as you can get. Enjoy your memorabilia card. Pretty much is the same thing. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on these cards. Uh, the black glare though. Look, I'm going to do a little bit of research on these cards. Both of them are pretty rare. I, I don't, those are my only two jersey cards that I have. Aside from... Those are only two jersey cards within these two years. So, yeah, they're incredibly rare. They're really... It's just... I'm lucky that I got these. So let me go do some research and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. Guess for some reason my computer's taking forever to upload. But what's going on? But um in the meantime, I'm gonna um ask you guys to comment below what you guys wanna see in the future on my channel. Do you wanna see more reviews? Um, do you want to see I don't know that. Um, do you wanna see um more reviews? Do you wanna see hockey challenges? Um, I don't know about vlogs. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do them. I might do like one, one or two, one or two a week, maybe if possible. But like five, seven maximum videos per week, um, is gonna be what's going on for me. Um, I'm gonna be making a lot of videos for you guys, so you guys can enjoy. Uh, or hopefully enjoy what I'm doing for you guys. So, man, what the hell is up with that thing? I don't want to the other quality. Give me a second. Okay, guys. So, I did some research on these cards. And they were going for, um, more or less the same amount. They were going for more or less the same amount. Um, the Hartman was going for a little bit more than the Braden Point, I think just because it's an older card. Hold on a second. Okay, so, it's kind of hard for me to, like, research and get every single... Oh, look at this, ready? Yeah, yeah. But it's hard for me to really like look at every single price like all over the internet and see what these cards are really going for so i just went on one or two sites ebay and i forget the other site's name it was just some random listing site and they were going for more or less the same price a little bit more with the hartman um the hartman here when it went from around seven around 25 to 125 dollars depending if it was certified or not like I said in my last video um yeah it's a really nice jersey card um and it also depends what jersey piece there is um I have the more rare one which is the red one the red and the black and white one is a little bit more common. So the red, the black and white one goes for about twenty five to seventy five dollars, and this one goes from about fifty to one hundred and twenty five. So they got a pretty good price range, and that's it, to be honest, for the Ryan Hartman. 
Alright, now we have the Braden Point. Now, the Braden Point has also two colors. It has blue and it has white. Really only the two colors that are in the Tampa jersey. Um, I found that the white was a little bit, just, a, they were more or less the same price. The blue was a little bit more. Um, yeah, the blue went for about, like, maybe $10 more, just because it's a bit, a tiny bit more rare. If you look at, like, um, if you go to Upper Deck site, and you, uh, see the price, the rarity on, like, how many cards they made out of them, and they made, like, um, good amount less of blues than white, so it, it brings down, it brings up the value of the blues about 10 or $20. So the, so the brain point went for about 50 uh, went from about $25, sorry, I'm thinking about the Ryan Hartman there. The, the, the uh, Braden Point went from about $25 to $75, depending if it was blue or white. White only went to up to like $75, the blue went up to about 100 was the most priciest one that I saw with the blue. And, um, yeah, both cards are really, really nice. Um, I wouldn't... I am not selling these cards because I love collecting hockey cards. If I ever needed to sell them, I might do it. But, like, I don't really care about the price. I just like having cool cards and, um, really just have them for the fun of collecting cards. Um, however, if you guys want to buy cards and sell cards, these are just prices that I would recommend for getting good deals and people buying your cards. So I just wanted to help you guys on that one. Other than that guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave, drop a big fat like, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 10 subscribers by the end of this year. If we can do that, that would be awesome. I'll see you guys the next time you've been watching Goalie Guy Vlogs, and I'll see ya.